ever since Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary has dropped, we've been drowning in royalty. But after all this bad blood and drama, we can't help but wonder if the couple is going to end up living titled but empty lives. Today, we'll be talking about how the public opinion of the royal rebel couple has shifted and how the only profession the two seem to have now is attacking the royal family. So stay tuned. First up, what's up with all the Netflix series? You would think for a couple dying to get away from the shackles of royal life and the public eye would go on to live private content lives. But no, not the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. After the big Megxit, the two have anything but exited from the aristocratic drama and in fact only seem to be pulled into it more. Yes, they seem to be making a living from going on and on about their royalty days, throwing shade at the family and whatnot. So far, they are working to produce projects through Archwell, having released the Archetypes podcast and even produced two Netflix documentaries about their couple courtship and how their titles got in the way of love. We know what you're thinking. The same old Romeo Juliet drama again? Weren't we over this in 2021 after the whole Oprah interview? Nope, they're still milking the Mexit. It's a royal disgrace, but hey, as long as they keep raking in the big bucks from their Netflix documentaries, everyone would still love their ex-royal couple, right? Wrong. If there's any common ground between the left and right in Britain, it's that the docuseries Harry and Meghan sucked. Directed by Liz Garbus and produced by Prince Harry's production company, it was butchered by both sides for its victim narrative. Like, we get it, you weren't felt very welcome by the royal family or the paparazzi, but do we really have to hear about it every time? What's more, some say the world's getting a little tired of the story. As Piers Morgan, the infamous critic of the couple, puts it brutally in the Sun Review, who are the world's biggest victims now? Nope, it's not the Ukrainian victims being bombed or those battling illness and going bankrupt due to the pandemic. The worst victims right now are Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, a pair of incredibly rich, stupendously privileged, and horribly entitled narcissists. Even the more left-leaning Guardian review of the docuseries written by Lucy Mangan called the show so sickening I almost brought up my breakfast. Yep, the public's run out of sympathy for the ex-royal couple and it doesn't come as a shock because they've been feeding us the same story for years now, told exactly the same way without any new perspective. Those who didn't care before won't care to watch it this time too. And the very few who did care, the kind who are obsessed with the royal reality TV, will see anything and believe anything at this point. So really, it's just another flurry of tabloid frenzy. Harry calling out members of the royal family for pressurizing anyone marrying into the royal family as a rite of passage and basically the agony of choosing a wife who fits the mold. Coming up, what's the point of their publicity stunts? Seriously, what will anyone gain from these podcasts and series? Sure, it's getting the couple a chance to stay popular, but at the cost of losing public favor. At the more centrist publication, The Independent calls it, the rebel lovers now just seem like a bunch of narcissists after their self-aggrandizing series. Sure, they are brave to call out the racism rampant in the royal family and media, but their protestations of love do seem over the top. As Jesse Thompson puts it, we believe you. We are in love. There's no need to show us any more of your WhatsApps. And really, what's up with the awkward energy during all their interviews? Meghan and Harry seem to be making a profession from their media appearances, but still can't seem to talk like normal people on camera. Even the viewers and fans of the couple aren't getting any real heartfelt stories about them. If you're going to separate from the blue blood society because you're so in love, surely you'll do more than just dwell on the past and show the world how you're too salty to move on? It sure does seem like they're living very hollowed lives. No matter how many intimate series they come out with or how many times they appear on live TV to talk about how happy and fulfilled they've been ever since the Mexit, we don't buy it. Next, Kel Richards called them out for their empty lives. Sky News host Kel Richards had a lot to say about the couple after the series came out. He said there isn't much left for the pair to do after they're done talking about their short-lived royal past. They've got to keep their titles and might even become public favorites, but their lives will be empty. According to Richards, the prince is just as much to blame for the drawn-out Mexit drama as Meghan is. Most of the media and people like to put all the blame on their new wife for causing a rift among the royal family, but in his opinion, Prince Harry's resentment was a huge part of the problem that divided his family up. Richards explained, they think she's got her husband hypnotized, but he's just being led around by the nose and has no real idea of what's going on. But at this point, it's time we stop letting the prince off the hook. He's a young man relentlessly driven by his resentment, and nothing gives it away better than Harry's book, Spare, that shows how he holds a huge grudge against the royals. The title itself points out how in any aristocratic family, the role of a wife is to basically pop out an heir and a spare, the second child that is to be kept around just in case anything happens to the eldest one. Now, that might not be entirely false, but we can clearly see he's obsessed with the idea of him being second born and not the heir, so he will never be king. That's some next level petty sibling drama. However, the two have turned this drama into their career. As Richards puts it, resentment is a bad 
bad thing to build a life on. And this is why we cringe so bad when we see their Netflix series or really any interview of theirs. The two can't seem to let bygones be bygones even after leaving the family and are building their whole lives and careers upon that resentment. In all this, Megan ironically plays the role of the supporting wife who will feed and support her partner's resentment. You can't fool us with a million documentaries. We can tell a codependent relationship when we see one. Now get this, Richards blamed this pent-up resentment for the lovers acting up and becoming too selfish. He describes this pettiness to be eating up Harry from the inside and preventing them from actually going out and leading fulfilling lives. When you think you are the world's biggest victims and the media validates your sob stories, you're bound to focus only on yourself and zoom in on the perceived wrongs from the media and the royal institutions. In fact, you can even turn this pity party into a full-fledged celebrity career with enough money and fame that leaves no room for self-reflection. As the Sky News host calls it, they only have one profession, attacking the royal family. That's it. It's all they do. From Megan's Spotify podcast to Harry's upcoming memoir and the couple's Netflix series, we could hardly wait for their next We're a Victim merch. Guess you could call them self-employed professional victims? Speaking of which, this profession isn't really sustainable. In a hilarious turn of events, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were warned by a royal expert that their careers in Hollywood are shaky and won't last forever. Let's be honest, there's only so far you can go throwing shade at the royal family. What happens when you run out of claims against them? So why is there a constant need to turn out new attacks on the monarchy? Well, it's because after their exit from royalty, they might still be Duke and Duchess of Sussex, but their position in public eyes has changed a lot. They've gone from royalty that people swooned at to influencers that must work hard to stay relevant. Like Richards said, they've given up royalty for a celebrity and celebrity is a notoriously fickle thing. For other celebs, they have to keep doing something to earn their place in the celeb list, saying act dance host, but for the newly exiled couple, they don't seem to have any outstanding talents that they can be known for other than their association with the British aristocracy. And since they're no longer officially the senior members of the fam, they have to do what they can manage to remain tied to the aristocrats even if it means lobbing a new explosive claim against them every time. So at the end of the day, they might not lose their Duke and Duchess titles, but really, their lives won't have a lot of meaning if they're going to keep playing the blame game for the rest of their lives. Lastly, we can only expect their lives to get more miserable if they keep this up. We're going to be very honest, the two may have been exciting to us before, but their charms are wearing away. Can you even blame the public when the lovers have been everywhere? By now, we've all gotten our fill of the Harry and Meghan scandals and don't feel strongly about their tragedies anymore. The real tragedy here is the fact that even after breaking free from Buckingham Palace, they're still letting themselves be controlled by the media and public opinion. What happened to living a happy life out of the public spotlight, Megan? And as for the documentaries, we'd all be so much better off without them. Don't get us wrong, there have been many scandalous royal television shows that we absolutely love to binge watch, but this one is not one of them. There are no bombs dropped, no curtains drawn, just a never-ending painfully slow retelling of what we already know. Well, at least we still have the 1.25x speed option to end our misery. And that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about the whole Harry and Meghan drama so far? Let us know in the comments below. Do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification for similar videos. See you in the next one.